Hey, good afternoon again. We just wanted to come back with another video. Um, another question, common question that we get on a regular basis from, from people who are switching from a letter system, like a BR, to a numerical system is, what do your numbers mean? What do your numbers mean? Um, an N for us truly means neutral. So if you have a 4N, which is what this color is here, that means truly four neutral. It's gonna be your brown base, your brown tone, okay? You're gonna need that to cover in the lower sections of some of the swatch books. If I come over here and I have a zero, zero, that would be the equivalent of NN. And just so people know, all of Coverline currently has the numbers, I don't know if you can see this on the video, um, all of them have the numbers, like zero, zero, but right underneath it in that little baby print where we gotta get our cheaters out to look at it sometimes if you're anything like me. Um, it also has the, uh, the letters down below it. But the zero, zero is going to be for gray coverage, typically more than, we'll say 40 to 50%. You're gonna wanna put an N, N in with it. The next level that we have is, is an O, one, okay? That is a neutral, zero n ash one is always ash in cover line zero is always neutral one is always ash so if you have an o1 in any of the versions that's going to be neutral ash the next number that you have is a is a two so this color that i pulled down happens to be a 5.2 which would be level five violet Two is always violet. So this is a five violet. And if you look on here, you can see, I gotta pull, pull it real close here, but it says five V, five violet, right at the lower section. 5.3 would be level five. The point means gold. So three, 5.3 means five gold. If I go to level five, 5.4, so that's level five again. 0.4 means copper. 0.4 means copper. 5.5 would be level five again. And the second number is um, copper. So 5.5 is a five copper. 5.6 would be level five. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over, but level five, red, okay? There's not gonna be any brown with any of these colors I went through. So when you see the word red, it is five red. I get asked also a lot of times, what are the other number means? We see that we have sevens and eights. 5.7 is a pre-blended color. The seven is more of a um, tobacco series, more of that, uh, it's a hybrid, it's a blend of colors. It's not a normal uh, normal shade. And again, 0.8, for us, we call those beiges, and there's not a 5.8, I've gotta to go to six. So like a 6.8 is a six beige, six beige. And again, that's not a traditional color. So if I go through them really quick, you're gonna have your first number is always the level. So five or six or seven point. One is ash, two is violet, three is gold, four mahogany, five copper, and six is red. If you have a sevens and eights, they're going to be hybrid or pre-blended colors. So let's give an example of another one. Another example would be uh, six, uh, four, five, which is also in the swatch book. This would be level six, copper, mahogany. The copper color is 67 and two thirds. So the first number is dominant, is 67 and two thirds. The second number is 33 and one third. That's really, really important when we get into some of our scale videos. So if we're doing midnight here, you know exactly what to mix to make these, a cup, to make these colors. Like I've said many times before, cover line, I can hit the exact color um, by choosing the right developer, okay? So this is a level six, copper mahogany, copper mahogany, okay? A six, five, three would be a level six again. This is mahogany uh, gold, 
right? An MG for some people, right? MG. And you can see if I look at this right here, there's the mahogany gold down at the bottom, okay? So sometimes you get some, some weird ones, right? Here's like an 811. Well, Stockton, what does that mean, right? So an 811 is a double ash. They're almost going to look gray on your swatch book, okay? These are gonna be great for maybe you have somebody who's pulling more warmth than what you'd like. When you don't really, you wanna try and solve the problem on the front end. This is a great color to maybe try and apply um, to cancel out that warmth to get them a neutral tone if they're constantly pulling that. Or if you just wanna add way more ash to your color. But one ones are there. Okay. Um, we also have some colors here. These are stroke twos. So this is a, the stroke two, if you see a line like this, let me get it real big here for a second. You see that the stroke two is basically a green color with a double shot of green. And I can promise you, we don't sell a lot of these, but you'll know who you need to use these for. For that person who always says, no matter what I do, I just can't get the warmth out. This color will get the warmth out. And if it doesn't, we need to be having a whole nother video on that one because this is a this is a very, very, very powerful color. Um, I appreciate you taking a second here with us and hopefully that answers your number of questions.